In this video, we're talking about the best ways to find the lowest price flights using Google Flights. Google Flights is one of the best search engines out there for finding the lowest price flights. I won't book a single flight without at least going on to Google Flights before I decide to book something. So in this video, we're gonna go over some of the best tools to finding the lowest price flights out there. One of the first tips is gonna be with calendar search. Now, when you go to Google Flights, you're gonna be able to type in your cities that you're leaving from and that you're gonna to arrive to. But instead of actually selecting the dates, when you click on the calendar, you're gonna see a calendar view. This calendar view is gonna show you a bunch of different prices for every single day. The lowest price is gonna be in green. Once you select your departure date, it'll automatically change the prices showing you when your return flight is going to be the lowest price. The next two features are gonna be the date grid and the price graph. You're gonna see this button for date grid. It's gonna show you several dates for a departure and several dates for the return. This is gonna allow you to quickly select some of the cheapest flights by comparing different lengths for your departure and your return time. Sometimes if you extend your vacation even a day or two, you're gonna be able to save a lot of money. With this example here, your flight's gonna change from $1,400 to 968 just by extending it from March 18th to March 20th. And the price graph is going to show you a really quick way to see what the prices are going to be for your selected trip duration. You can change the duration as many or as little days as you want, whether it's four days, seven days, or even 10 days. The next tip is going to be using flexible dates. Now, if you go over here to the Explore tab, instead of actually selecting your own dates, you can use flexible dates. This is gonna give you several different options. You can look at up to the next six months and you can even select each individual month or the entire six months altogether. And you can also choose the length of your vacation, whether it's weekend, one week, or two week. Now by being flexible, sometimes you're gonna be able to save a significant amount of money. In this example, you'd be able to save about $1,000 from a round trip flight from Charlotte to Rome. Another really useful tool is going to be the price trends. Whenever you select a flight, it's going to give you a price trend, which will show you if the price is high, typical, or low. You can also look at the past history to see how the flights changed over the past 60 days. Using that information, you might be able to make a decision on whether it makes sense for you to hold off on waiting for your flight, or if you wanna book it right away. Another useful tool that Google Flights has is that you're able to get notifications on different flights. Once you select a flight and a time, all you would need to do is uh, click one of these buttons here to track your price. And if there is an update to the price on those flights, Google will automatically send you a notification. Finding the lowest price flights is just one part about traveling on a budget. If you wanna know some of our biggest tips for traveling on a budget, check out this video here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.